Wow, the sunshine's beautiful. I think I see a hawk over there flying around. What a great day. It's time to do a little canteen cup cooking. This week I'm going to bring you a Moroccan potato garbanzo bean stew. It's vegan and fat free. And of course, if you want that stuff, you can add to it as you choose. Now, this recipe is from Jill McKeever. I've converted this to doing the canteen cup. I'll leave a link to her uh, ingredients and recipe for this in the description. Also, I'm going to do this in collaboration with some other channels. So if you'd like to see some more ideas about cooking while you're out at camp, look down in the description and there'll be a list with links to each of their channels. Check them out and get some ideas. This week, we're going to be using a knife that someone made. I bought this at a gun and knife show few years ago. And it looks like a kit, like maybe something they ordered the blank and the scales and put it together. I gave, I think it was $35 for it. Look at, look at how nice looking that guy is. It fits my hand really well. I think it's going to be really nice to cook with. Vegetable broth, one and one third cup. I'm gonna give my sweet potato a fairly small dice like that because we want a little bite of everything when we get a bite. All right, one cup of diced sweet potato. Hey, same way, we're just going to cut these guys up into little bites because we want a little of everything. While I finish cutting these tomatoes, I'll talk to you a little bit about recipe conversion. You can look around for one pot recipe doing our canteen cups. Then you just need to look at the total recipe volume versus your canteen cup volume and start doing a little math. This recipe makes roughly two quarts, which is 64 ounces. My canteen cup will comfortably hold 25 or 26 ounces and still leave me a little room to stir a little head space. So I divided that into the 64 ounces and it would go 2.6 times. So I just took her recipe and divided it in the thirds. I know roughly a third will make this in my canteen cup. All right, so we got five ounces of tomatoes minus the two I ate. Need a little snack while I'm cooking. I wanna go ahead and get my spice mixture in early so those flavors can start to develop. Now that I've got a trash bag, I'm going to clean up my potato scraps. Since I don't have a kitchen knife with a blade that comes down below the handle, I'm going to bring my garlic over to the edge of my cutting board where my knife can hang off a little bit. Sometimes when we're at camp, we have to adapt our tool to the task. One clove of garlic. Jill's recipe calls for half an onion, so I'm going to use a shallot, so I don't have a piece of an onion left over. You know what? Shallots are becoming a go-to favorite of mine for canteen cup cooking. It's about the right amount of onion for a canteen recipe. In the pot with one shallot. I am going to go ahead and give my spinach a little rough chop though while we're cooking. I 
Hey y'all, it looks like some people have secured use of the community center across the field. I'm starting to hear a little music and stuff as they're pulling in, so excuse any background noise. Woo! <laughs> she's not boiling yet, but she's hot enough to start cooking. The nice thing about a meal like this, and having something to cook it with a low heat, is now I can go do other stuff. I think I'm gonna take a couple laps on the track while this cooks. Oh yeah, we finally came to a boil. Won't be long now. I'm gonna take another lap. Ooh, that smells good. Let's check a sweet potato for doneness. I think we can start adding the other ingredients and finish this guy up. I've got two thirds a cup of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. You'll find them on, under either name. I'm gonna give those guys a couple minutes to come to temperature while I take another lap. Hey, for those of you that are concerned, I can see my stove and what's going on over here all the way around the track. It's only a one-fifth of a mile around. It's not very long. I'm gonna start wilting in my spinach. This was a cup and a half of baby spinach. Now this is your little microwave rice packets. They're already cooked and you're just heating them up. I'm gonna go ahead and put all that in. While my soup finishes cooking, or my stew, I'm gonna go ahead and get my toppings ready. And I'll tell you what, these fresh herbs they're kind of like our uh, leafy greens, the, the green leafy greens everybody talks about, like your kale and the such, your cilantro and parsley. They're full of great stuff for you. Don't be scared of using this stuff. If you like it, pile it in there. It's good for you. I'm going to chop up quite a bit of it here to go on top because it's going to wilt down like the spinach anyhow. We're not going to be scared of that. get myself a wedge of lime to squeeze on it. And y'all take some care and some extra caution when you're slicing things like these limes. Have a lot of juice. Things can get really slippery. Take your time and let the knife do the work. You know what? I think it's time to get this guy in the bowl. Yeah, I believe we've got to do a little something about some of this broth. Y'all see what I'm doing here, right? told you before, we're not going to waste that. That's hydration. And it's good too. Alright, so let me show you what we're going to do here. We're going to get some of this nice fresh parsley. We're going to sprinkle that on. Squeeze a lime on there. What do y'all think? I think we've got a winner. Now, Jill's recipe doesn't call for quite as much spice as I added to this. I like to ramp mine up a little. 
but also a little Tabasco would help bring up the heat if you wanted. I'll tell you, it doesn't need any fatter meat. If you want that, you can put it in there. But that's banging just like it is. Hey, Carolina Chris, just for you, we're going to ramp up a bite. I already got a bunch of chili pepper in there, though. Man, that's nice. A little vinegary. I like it. Well, I'm going to finish eating and get it out of here. If y'all have any questions about how to convert a recipe so you can fit it in your canteen cup, just let me know. Shoot me a message or leave it in the comments. I read my comments. We'll see you on the trail. I just wanted to come back and let you know we weren't going to waste that. I'm going to keep adding this as I eat it. That's the way we're going to roll. Just keep putting a little in and eating. That's good. I wish y'all could be here to have some of this. If y'all are interested in some vegan recipes, check Jill's channel out. She's got a lot of really good ideas.